Hey everybody, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Halloween's still about a month away, but I'm already feeling spooky. So in today's episode, we're going to go transform a witch hut. So let's go check it out. After searching quite a few seeds, I finally found a witch hut landlocked with enough land to actually build on. Now this witch lives deep in the swampy wetlands, so in order to build anything, I'm going to need to clear some trees first. Getting things going now, I'm going to change out the spruce wood roof for deep slate tiles, and instead of keeping it flat, I'm going to bring it up to a little point in the middle. The witch hut's already a small structure, so we're going to build a diagonal off the back of it, and we'll use this as the entrance to the new and improved witch hut. I decided to do a big circle for the main structure. This way we'll be able to get a tall peaked roof similar to a witch's hat. I'm also trying to stick to the original block palette by using spruce planks and oak logs for the remainder of the build. With the roof finally done, we can move on to adding a few windows and lighting up our build a little bit. With the structure most of the way done, we're going to map out a little bit of the area so we know where else we can build.
After adding a few minor details to the build, we can move on to the creepy pumpkin patch that our travelers will have to pass through to reach the Wicked Witch. Besides pumpkins, this witch also grows her own ingredients for potions, with various mushrooms growing all over her swamp. And to make the area feel a little more spooky, I'm going to add quite a few dead custom trees. Next I'm going to add some warp fungus to the area and texture the path up a bit and add a few small details here and there. One more custom tree and we can work on the final part of this project. And what kind of witch would she be if there wasn't a cauldron to brew potions in? And I know I wouldn't be doing this build any justice if I didn't show it to you at night time.
Well, thanks for watching, everybody. If you got a spooky build idea or want to see more transformations like this in the future, let me know in the comment section. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And until next time, have a good night.